So guys, for the first method, you wanna go to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the next method, you wanna go to search and type in core isolation. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to turn off memory integrity. Turn this off, see if that works. If not, then turn it on, see if that works. For the next method, you wanna to go to search and type in services, click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on any service one time and then click on V on your keyboard. Now you want to find VGC. I don't have VGC on my computer, but once you find VGC, you want to double click on it. You want to make the startup type automatic and then click on start, which will now make the service status running and then click on okay. Now you wanna click on restart. You want to restart the VGC service, see if that works. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on manage settings. Now you want to turn off real-time protection. And then click on yes. See if that works. You can then turn it back on again. See if that works. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in task manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, if you see like Riot Games, Vanguard or just anything to do with that or like Valorant, then you want to click on it and then click on end task. Make sure that's not running. Next, you want to go to search again and type in file explorer. Click on it. And now once you're on this, on the left hand side, you want to scroll down and then click on this PC. Now you want to click on your Windows drive and then click on program files. If you have a folder called Riot Vanguard or just anything to do with that, you want to delete it and then continue. You could also try to find all the folders on your computer that have to do with Valorant, Vanguard or Riot Games. If you know where you installed your Valorant game to, you can delete that folder. So you can search for the folders in both Program Files, Program Files x86 or you could just see on your computer where you installed your Valorant game to. Now once you delete all the folders, you want to go to search and type in Add room with programs. Click on it. Now you want to find Vanguard, Valorant, Riot Games, anything to do with that, and then click on the three dots and then click on uninstall. You want to uninstall that. Once you uninstall that and you delete all the folders, try to reinstall it again. See if that works. For the next method, if you're using a VPN or proxy, then you want to disable it. So let's just say that you are, you want to go to search and type in VPN settings. Click on it. And you can just disable it through here. The same thing with proxy settings. You can disable it through here. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in turn Windows features on or off. Click on it. And now once you're on this, if you have Hyper-V enabled, then you just want to disable it and then click on OK. See if that works. It's going to search for required files. Once that's been done, see if that works. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in control panel. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to set the view by to category. Now you want to click on user accounts. Now you want to click on change account type. You want to find your account, double click on it and then click on change the account type. Make sure that your account has been set as an admin, administrator. You could also click on manage another account and then click on add a new user and PC settings and then click on add account. Now you could just add a new account to your computer. So, and then click on next once you fill that in. And now once you have the new account, you want to click on the drop down and then click on change account type. You want to make it an admin account and then click on OK. Now we're going to sign into it. So you want to right click on the Windows icon, shut down or sign out, sign out. And you can now sign into your other account and then see if Valorant's working for you. This will tell us if it's a problem with your account or just your computer in general. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in percent temp percent. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to do Control A and then click on Delete. This should delete most files in this folder. Now you want to go to Search and type in Run. And now you want to type in Temp. This time without the percentage sign and then click on Enter. And then continue. And then do the same thing. Control A, Delete. This will delete most files in the folder. Now you want to right click on your recycle bin and then click on Empty Recycle Bin and then click on Yes. Next, you want to go to search and type in disk cleanup. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to tick all the boxes here. And then click on clean up system files. And now once this comes up, you want to select everything again. 
and I click on OK, and I click on Delete Files. Now once you delete all the temporary files, see if that works. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And now once you run this, you want to click on restart now. And then click on restart now again. And now once you run this, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you have a restore point that you can go back to on your computer, then you want to click on next and then go back to your restore point. Maybe you will have a restore point to back when Valorant used to work on your computer. So you can go back to that restore point and then see if that works. If not, you want to click on cancel. For the next method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then uninstall updates. You want to uninstall the latest quality update. And then click on uninstall, see if that works. If it does let you uninstall it, once you uninstall it, you want to click on close and then continue. Go back into Windows, see if that works. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in CMD. Now, you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now, once you run this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. And you now want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. Now, once that's been done, you want to type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and then click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. Next, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. Now, you want to type in netsh space Winsock space reset and then click on enter again. Now you want to restart your computer. See if that works. For the next method, you want to go to search and type in network reset. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on reset now and then click on yes. It's now going to restart your computer in five minutes or you can just do it yourself right now. See if that works.